This video is sponsored by Aura. More on them at the end of the video. Well, this is our first casualty of the storm and the first one of the day. I've already got a few others lined up. It should be an easy pump out and then I think we're just towing it back behind me to the lift over there. I'm over here in Siesta Key right now. Yeah, I've probably passed at least a dozen boats that are falling off their lift or have completely fallen off their lift. And there's even a, probably a half dozen or so that have actually somehow made it up onto land. I don't know what the actual storm surge was, but they had been calling for about five feet above a high tide. So, some of these areas are going to be pretty screwed up. Which, good for me, because we get paid, but sucks for the people who have houses here and people that have boats too. This water is definitely not warm anymore after the storm. Now I give us nice access down to the bilge. Luckily we got all these pumps and setups that I've been wanting for a while. Done a couple months or so ago, so should be able to get this pump primed pretty quickly and get this thing pumped out.
see if I can do this without getting that stern to raise up because assuming those little ports in the back are at least mostly watertight then the rest of the transom's above water so it should pump it out faster than any of those ports where hatches can leak fuel on start choke on start fuel on throttle on
that pump's not doing much because it's mostly drained back here already. This front one's dry already, that didn't take long. Never know, sometimes these boats have a nice opening at the bottom of their bulkheads just so that they drain properly. Uh, those ski lockers are generally made to take on water. And let it drain to the bilge. That's all that one's gonna do. I think this pump is probably too big to fit into the hole in the back. So, yep, it's a little too big. I'll need to grab the other one we have. Unless we can access it. I think we can put it through there. That's where the batteries are. There we go. We'll let this electrical in. Pump out the rest of the water. In the I just got to call the customer and see where we're putting the boat. Because it definitely doesn't belong here. Good, how are you? What was that? Okay, I'll just keep a pump on. Are we going right back to the left? Um, yeah, I, 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 I have to tie it up. Okay. But I gotta get the plug on there. Yeah, I'll get the uh, pump running. Just pump out what's left in there, and then I'll bring it over. Well, that would do it. I'm guessing the boat floated off the lift when the tide came in. And... What was that? Probably a dozen boats that have fallen off lifts and partially sunk. And then there's probably half a dozen that are actually up on land. Yeah, so there's a lot like that where the tide just kind of lift them off the lift and they partially sunk. I wasn't exactly ex expecting to work this morning when I came down to put the check on the boat. We left it at the uh, boat ramp in the parking lot. I was coming down just to check on it. I wasn't expecting to work already. I would have worn a bathing suit if I knew that.
See us getting on with this boat. No, it's keeping up with it. It's not pumping it out. We'll bring it over to the guy, get the plug in there. Call it good. What was that? Yeah. Well, I'll bring it over now and we'll get the, I'll bring it over now, we'll get the plug in. Yeah. Now we got this thing. I mean, nobody expected this, right? No, we expected some surge. I don't know what did it end up being for you guys, you know? Nine feet. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because they were calling for like five feet over high. Well, how do I, what do you think I got to get in the water, huh? I'll see if I can reach it from here. No, but you don't have to. I think, I, yeah. I think on the ladder. Yeah. You, know, you know what you're doing? Yeah. Let's see it. Way down there. Yeah. You mean? If we can keep you out of the water, I'd rather do that. <laughs> That'd be great. Thank you. Just throw them over here. Just throw them over here. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. That's way down there. Huh? It's way down there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I can't reach it. Okay. Um, All right, I'm going to go. Um, can't get down there? No. Okay. Just, just out of my reach. That's the main thing, right? Yeah, this seems fine. I would have the engine looked at. Uh, the water was up to here. Okay. So before you go and start it, I would just okay. have it looked at. Well, should I take it down? Go ahead and take it down to uh, down to, to the safe harbor. We could do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have to talk to Mike because I don't think that was included in the original rate he quoted. Uh, yeah, the insurance. It's, it's, um, I got insurance. So yeah, so get it reapproved. But exactly, so he'll have to talk to them before I can do anything. Okay. If you want to, I'll let you do it. <laughs> I got a bunch of other jobs to go to today, so. Oh. Thank you. And do you guys stay here? Yeah, once you get the plug in, it'll pump the rust out.
got it. Perfect. Um, so, you, so when you say it was up to here. Yeah, so it's, it's just in that border where I mean, I can... if you start it and you blow it, it's going to cost a lot more. Insurance will give you something, but it won't be enough to put a brand new engine on it. What was that? Yeah. Yep, so I'll let it pump out. Uh, do you have dock lines for this? I don't know. Uh, chances are we're not, we can't tow it now, probably. Because even if we get approved to tow it, we still got to get in contact with them. Oh, you can't tow it now? Probably not. Okay. Yeah, because you got other people to take care of, right? I, well, that's not a problem, but trying, I have to get a spot there where you want it taken. So I know I can, yeah, so I know I can actually bring the boat to them. Oh, right. So start with calling them first and see if they can even take the boat. Oh, okay. We'll just tie it up. Yeah, we'll just tie it up for now then. What was that? When you say it came up to the, to the seal? Yeah, right around the seal. It was a little bit above. And that's why it's... You want water? Sure. Yeah. Huh? 
How much was left before it gets on the back? Or is it... it was sitting kind of in the mangrove, so yeah. the tide's heading out. Okay. All right. Hey, Mike. Uh, just got the boat done, uh, tied it up here. Uh, the engine was a little bit more underwater than he th originally thought. Uh, so I suggested uh, whenever we get a chance uh, to tow it down, uh, he Marsh Harbor? Safe Harbor. Safe, safe Harbor. Uh, he just called them and they're not taking boats right now, uh, but didn't know if there's anything we needed to yeah. call insurance back. I think Yeah, it's all drained. That's no yeah. problem. Okay. So he'll just have to call Geico directly then? Yeah, yeah. And, and once he finds a place that will take it, or the other option that I would say, he has a trailer. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, he can just call Geico directly. But that will be a separate job now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm done with this one. Are we good to go with the one up at uh, Bayshore? Okay, I will right. let you know. All right. Bye. Would you mind doing me a favor and just button this up before you yep. leave? Okay, thanks. Let me so he back. said, uh, can't tow it now, uh, okay, no but call around, see if you can find a place, and then uh, just call Geico directly. Yeah, okay. Thank and you. Really get an insurance. Uh, no, that's okay. It'll get open so it rains. Oh, okay. Yep. There you go. Thanks. Thanks so much. We really appreciate you coming out. No problem. We lost both our cars. What was that? We lost both our cars. Oh, no. High class problems, right? You guys had a really rough storm. We've been here a long time. How many years? 15, 16. Yeah. And never seen. That's why we didn't, you know, we used to, whatever. That's saying a lot of these other people, who knows? I mean, they may have evacuated and they're going to come back and everything's going to be all screwed up. The important stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One more, I'm sorry. Can you put the bucket in there? Oh, sorry. yeah, sorry. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, buddy, take care. Thanks, you too. Thanks. What was that? The one lucky one. Yeah. And any damage to your house? No, the house is Where do you live? I live uh, Palmer Ranch, so off of Clark. Okay. Yeah, uh, we had a lot more flooding from the uh, thunderstorms we've had where we got those like 16, 18, 18 inches of rain. Yeah, I mean, we got lucky. It was a little bit windy. Uh, some of our neighbors lost a couple of small trees, but nothing bad. No, don't worry about it. But, yeah, uh, like I said, call around, call Geico, and yeah, we'll get it sorted. I said I'm safe. I'm here till on call till Sunday, so okay. if you get it done before then. Stable, so yep, gonna, everything should be out, good. Right? Let this thing dry out. Yeah, I mean, kind of just not much else you can do other than that. Exactly. Thanks, you too. Sponsor time. Nowadays, it's pretty easy to do a quick Google search for a name and find out quite a lot of info about someone. It's scary how much of my personal information is accessible, especially since I would consider myself pretty limited in the personal data I put out there. However, data brokers collect and then sell your information to scammers, spammers, advertisers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, cell phone, email, home address, health records, your relatives, it's all out there and easy to find. That's why I've started using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. 
Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests for me. Cleaning up my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, but it protects me from hackers who could use this information to help them access my social media accounts, bank accounts, or other sensitive information. Aura does this all for me. And best of all, I don't have to download several different apps just because the company couldn't keep my data secure. To help you secure your data, Aura is offering my viewers a 14-day free trial at my special link down in the description at aura.com slash FGCMS.